Hello guys, it's been a long time since my last video. I have to apologise yet again. I've uh, moved house and actually split up with my ex. Um, so on the plus side, that gives me more time to work on the car and get it sorted. As you can see, new garage, <laughs> uh, again. Uh, I think this must be the, literally like the sixth or seventh garage I've had since starting the build. Um, anyway, yeah, the car's still here. Still have it, still mine, still works. Um, no real problems with it, to be honest. It just starts and yeah, it's more or less how I left it, to be honest. A lot more to do on it. I need to start doing the brake lines. I need to start getting a list uh, of what to do next. But I think the plan of attack really is to get the rear brake lines clipped in at the bottom. See they're loose currently down there. They need to be teed off down underneath the fuel tank. Um, once that's done, it's a nice easy job to be honest, not too bad. Once that's done, I will then install the scuttle panel over here. Um, I need to make a recess for the battery and get a battery tray. Once that's done, I can then start getting all the wiring properly organised and sorted. As you can see, it's very messy. <laughs> Lots of uh, dead wood lice <laughs> from storage, so they need to be got rid of. Uh, but essentially, you know, it's still, you know, you can turn the key, start, well, I'll show you. Right, probably won't start fully, but wow, that failed. <laughs> Let me uh, pump prime first. There we are. It fires a little bit, <laughs> but it, it does start, which is awesome. So yeah, get in there slowly. Um, need to do more work. I've been spending the last month getting. The house organised, uh, wiring the garage up. Um, yeah, we have power now, which is awesome, and lights, strip lights, which is awesome, security light as well, which is pretty good for when I'm working outside. Spent today building some um, storage unit type things here, getting the old uh, racking up so I could have some speakers and PC and stuff. So the house is over there. As there were two garages, but uh, this is my car garage. Uh, so yeah, basically just a little update. To just show you that I'm working on it, getting things ready. Got a PC, speakers, coffee, which is awesome. Been organising the tool chests up, which is cool. Uh, got my welder, cutters and stuff. So yeah, basically, <laughs> still more to do, as always. But I'll do some more videos more regularly, try and get a one out a week now for you guys. Um, if any questions or any advice or anything, yeah, let me know, obviously. Uh, happy to answer questions and give you help. Um, if anyone's exceptionally good at wiring, I would, wouldn't mind some advice and help on the wiring side of things because it's a bit confusing. I've got wiring diagrams, obviously, um, for each of the wiring looms. It's just a case of getting it all connected to make sure it all works. But it kind of works, just not neatly. <laughs> also need to get some uh, aluminium sheets and box out all this stuff. Um, yeah, that's not high on my priorities currently. I just want to get all the little bits and bobs done first to make it easy for myself. But as soon as that's, yeah, a bit more sorted, I'll be able to put those on. I want to paint the wishbones, need to get all the suspension sorted out as well at some point. I need to buy four bathroom scales. Um, the normal kind of analog, non-digital ones. And put one underneath each wheel so I can work out the weight of the car, front and rear. Then get the springs to match. Uh, what else needs doing? I don't know. I've probably got about three or four grand's worth of stuff left <laughs> to buy. Um, I want to get new discs and calipers for the front as well and rear. Um, shocks. What else needs doing? I need to change some of the uh, ball joints as well. I'm not happy with. Got a couple which have perished quite a bit. The turret ends are actually new, but for some reason they've really perished. I mean, I know it's been sitting there for about two years, but I mean, that, that shouldn't be that perished after two years. I'm not sure why that is. Um, I mean, these these hubs are second-hand, so I'm wondering if this hole is possibly too big, and it's just slipped down too low, and squashed this quite a bit, and I mean, it is completely squashed down, so I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Same on the other side as well. The other side's all squashed and perished. Um, yeah, so I might need to buy new hubs. Not sure yet. We'll find out. Uh, well, I just need to get um, water pipes from down here. 
run those over, under, and then kind of up, up to there, which you can just about see. Really awkward. Um, yeah, there they are, there, those two pipes. So that should be a bit of fun, getting that ready. I need to get the silicon hoses and everything connected over this side as well. Um, it's more or less, yeah, it's, pre it's pretty good actually. Uh, every time I look at it, I'll see more stuff I've actually done, which is nice. <laughs> but still loads and loads to do. I need to get the uh, brake lines down there, moved across, um, and connected down to that little connector down there. Oh, and for the chap that asked me about fitting the RB engine in an normal Haynes Roadster, this is where you have issues, this bit here. Uh, if you try and fit it in a normal Haynes, or a normal 7 style car with a straight 6, the front of the engine basically ends up hitting down here, and you have some really bad clearance problems, especially around the front as well. So I mean, you can you can relocate stuff to get it to work, but you know, it's a bit of a job, especially when you look at the um, steering column. You know, you've got not much space for the steering column to go underneath there. So not not impossible, no, not impossible by a long shot, but it just takes a lot of work. <laughs> So if you're doing this, I definitely recommend stretching your chassis a little bit, try and fit it in. Um, it does mean you have knock-on effects with body fitment and stuff, and you need a custom bonnet and everything else, but to be honest, if you're going to do a big engine, <laughs> you might as well do it properly. But anyway, that's that really, just a little update for you, just to say, still here, still working on it. But um, yeah, awesome stuff. Oh, another question for you guys. If any of you lot are good at welding aluminium, and want to do some welding for me, I'll happily pay you. Basically what I need is, I need a kind of a dome or cap to, uh, welded on here. I'm gonna take this off here, I'm gonna smooth that down and blend it into the alley. But I need like an, an alley kind of round bit on here, with like a flat front, so it clears this area and I can actually then cover it up, because I've started getting surface rust. And I'm pretty sure if I hadn't, sorry, one second, focus. Focus, focus. Yeah, there you are. I'm pretty sure if that had been covered up, I wouldn't have that surface rust on there, which is a bit annoying. Um, not a major deal, but I just want to have it all protected and not open to the elements, really. So if any of you guys are good at welding, or know someone that can do good welding, uh, let me know, because I need to get it done ASAP, because I'm getting these powder coated and shot blasted over the next few days. So, yeah, that'd be awesome if you could. Um, what else? Yeah, well, not much really. Um, all seems to be working okay so far. Fuel pumps all going good. Um, yeah, just just garage stuff. Oh, yeah, another thing. Got a load of air tools. Impact wrenches, socket wrenches, the whole works. Um, Screwfix is doing a clear out, clear out currently. Um, 10 pound, 10 pound for an air impact wrench. Now I know it's not like the best quality, not by a long shot, but in theory, you know, even if it lasts me a year, 10 quid, still pretty good money, uh, and also includes all the sockets as well, and you know, impact sockets aren't cheap, so I'm really happy with that to be honest. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, the air compressor, I'm actually building a shed on the other side of this wall, and I'm actually going to have the air compressor behind this wall in its own compartment outside of the uh, building. Um, and then I have wires coming up here, straight into here, so I can actually power the air compressor remotely, which would be pretty good. So that'd be nice. Um, yeah, anyway, that's it. I'll do some more video updates for you with actually some real progress. Um, oh yeah, I've got another thing as well. Whilst I was moved house and I had some spare time, I built this. A smoker, so I can smoke meat and smoke all kinds of cool, fun stuff like jerky and everything else. For myself, at least I got some fuel then for over the winter when it's cold. And I can actually, uh, yeah, have some nice food. Anyway, I shall catch you all later. Uh, really happy to be start work on the car again, and hopefully have some more videos for you over the next few days. Cheers. Bye.